All right, guys. So, uh, you know, I'm up to like a bit of a late start, right? But Samoa Joe and Brock Lesnar are not just 13 minutes late. They just brawled. Like, save it for the pay-per-view. They're going nuts now. The whole roster had to try to stop them. Guys, I don't understand why people are being so ungrateful. Like, he's literally giving them a free live concert. And they're just like, oh, woo. Like, jeez. Like, this is amazing. I'm just glad that I get to see this live. No missile to distraction. Dang it. Samson almost had it. I like Ambrose more than Samson, but I do not want Ambrose to have any momentum going into Money in the Bank. Like, we can't afford this for The Miz. Oh, wait, I'm stupid. No, no, no. <laughs> Money in the Bank isn't a Raw pay-per-view. Well, the next pay-per-view, I should say, or the next match that Ambrose has with The Miz. Ooh, those... Oh, my gosh. The crossroads. Not and that happen. knee, too. Not gonna happen. Oh! Like you said, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Cedric Alexander just called Alicia Fox ratchet. And she's on FaceTime screen. Like, this is, this is just so... <laughs> oh, my God. Wow, that's really embarrassing. Wow. <clears throat> no, I'm dark lost dead quick to Cedric Alexander. Jesus. Yo, I think this is the first time that someone's manager was at ringside via iPhone. This is hilarious. Via FaceTime. But that's so funny. They need to do that more often. <laughs> Especially with Paul Heyman. I don't know. They, they didn't do stuff like that. Bray Wyatt, most of the time, he does just speak in riddles and talk in circles. But what he's saying, like, when you actually listen to it, it's actually pretty good. And, like, the metaphors that he uses, it's actually pretty good. But, yeah, in this feud, I definitely want Seth Rollins to win. Seth Rollins is the greatest. Why do Bray Wyatt and Samoa Joe just randomly attack people? Like, they'll, they'll literally give no story to it. They'll just hit him for no reason. Wow, and then Bray Wyatt just disappears from the ring in the middle of a promo. So cool, huh? Me, how the Hardys are just on Raw. Like, and, like, everyone just acts like nothing's happening. Like, boy, it's the Hardys! Hey, Apollo Crews and Titus Sano. I, I, I love these guys. I honestly do. Oh. Oh, Apollo Crews picking up the win over Kalisto. I'm kind of hyped. Yo, Akira Jazawa going to join the Titus brand? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Are you kidding me? Yo, there's going to be a tag team match between the Miz and a mystery partner versus Rhino and Heath Slater. Like, this is messed up. Like, Heath Slater would rather eat cream cheese. I mean, I mean cheese and crackers with the loser than caviar with A-listers. This is messed up. Yo. What is Mickey James wearing? <laughs> Yo, she's trying to step up to Alexa Bliss. Alexa, Alexa Bliss will snatch her bow, as Naomi would put it. Oh, Emma's back for the 13th time. She's back again. Jesus. Oh, wow. Now they're all brawling in Sasha's. Um, in, in the mix too. Oh wait, it's probably gonna be a tag team match play, yeah? Wow. So the faces, the team with the faces win because, um, Alexa Bliss just decides to take a stroll on her teammates in the middle of the match. So the, her team loses. <laughs> Bailey is so dumb. She thinks that she's, she, she says, Oh, I don't wanna hurt people. I just wanna put smiles on faces. Like, this is the WWE idiot. Like, yo, she really thinks this is softball. Like, what do you think that this is? Yo, Bailey's a creep. She said, you think you can this on a hug? And then she breathes in and says it felt good. Like, what? Wow, he's later a rhino going up against the Miz and his mystery partner. Like, who's going to be his mystery partner? Elias Sampson? Like, I don't know at this point, man. Like, is it seriously the teddy bear? Is this the same bear as a Dean Ambrose? Oh, nah, that, that bear got too big of a belly to be Dean. Yeah, that bear's too tall. That bear's too tall. Yo. Yo, will Michael Cole ever chill out with the bear puns? Yo, the bear just tagged the Miz back in. Yo, this bear is rude. I hate him. Exactly. Jump him, Miz. Get him, Miz. Get him, Miz. Yo, did the bear switch out? It's a different bear now. 
Yo. Why is your free not? Why would he Slater try to help the bear? That's dumb. <laughs> Yo, that's hilarious. Oh, you can't do that to an A-lister. He's the most musty WWE superstar in history. You can't do this. Uh, okay, so we got Nell versus uh, Rich Swan. Honestly, the cruiserweights, the, um, almost all of them are very talented. Actually, I think all of them are talented in the ring. But it's like, they, honestly, they haven't really found a way to make us invested in any of their stories. But Neville and Jack Gallagher. Sorry, not but. I should have said with the exception of Neville and Jack Gallagher. Yo, Neville just straight up mercs Rich Swan before the match. The match doesn't even start. So he's just gonna name random cruiserweights. Why does change name? Why did they change TJ Perkins name to TJP? I'm still wondering about that. Yo, they're already hurt. Big Cass is already hurt, and then they're fighting An Anderson and Gallows. Like, I'm not interested in this at all. Actually, I'm really not interested in this. Monday Night Raw is so all over the place. Like, this our truth and gold dust. Like, they just need to get the act together. Like, put it back on two hours. The thing is, though, I feel like for people to get behind Matt and Jeff Hardy, they don't need the tag titles, but I feel like Sheamus and Cesaro need them for people to get behind them or to be invested in them as much as they are now. All right, guys, so, like, the, the Hardy Boys, it's this 2 out of 3 false tag match, right, I think. The Hardy Boys, they, they like, <laughs> Jeff Hardy literally gets kicked in the stomach with a bro kick. It, yo, and, and Sheamus and Cesaro get the first fall. That's terrible. So it ends in a draw. Wow. They all have one one apiece. That's messed up. Like, this is a title match in the main event, and y'all just gonna do it like that? Like, by the way, Jeff Hardy hits these swanton bombs stiff lately. Jesus. Well, that was an epic fail. Like, come on. Like, for real? Like, I thought we were over this stuff. Like, anyways, turn into the NBA Finals. Yo, anyway, I'm not gonna say who I want to win, because just in case the team that I want to win doesn't win, I don't, I don't want to be like... I don't want to look like a loser. Anyways, um, guys, Raw, it was okay. It was okay. I think SmackDown's going to be better than it tomorrow, honestly. Till next time, you guys know what to do. Tell the commentary video. You guys know what to do on this channel. Subscribe to my main channel. Link in the description. And stay beastly.